Hey friends, welcome back to another weekly energy video. Today we're talking about the week between December 12th and the 18th. The astrology this week is really interesting. Um, if there is a time to be real with yourself about your dreams and whether or not you've been working towards those dreams, um, as in where are you placing the blame, I mean, not so much the blame, but like, have you been truly focused on the things that you want or have you been too self-sacrificing um, to be self-sacrificing uh, could mean a number of things. It could be like people pleasing tendencies. It could also just be that we're afraid to stand on our own. And so we seek shelter within relationships now, there's nothing wrong with relationships, friendships, partners, whatever, families. Uh, just that this week, maybe we're coming under the lens of scrutiny in terms of have we been diligent enough to claim what we need? Are we willing to push beyond all previous limitations? Are we perceiving those limitations within us or external of us? Because I think the astrology this week wants to remind us that it is all contained within us and that the relationships we have are simply a mirror of that. They mirror to us our own self limits, our own self limiting beliefs. It could be a good week, it could be a challenging week for you, depending on how you're resonating with this message. I feel that um, the energy is really, especially today, today is Monday is when I'm recording this video, the, um, the 12th, is very good Monday energy, like sit down, get work done, feeling inspired, feeling motivated. Um, try to keep that going as long as you can this week, because I think there may be some unexpected um, things that may come up having to do with, again, self-limiting beliefs, uh, repressed feelings, uh, repressed notions. Um, I believe Saturn's doing a little dance with Lilith. Sorry, it's Pluto and Lilith are doing a little dance. Yeah, interesting stuff, you know. Um, the last thing I'll say is the tools are all within you to create the future that, that you want. They're all here now in your life They're because they're within you. So be methodical. Um, look for inspiration and innovation. And don't be self-sacrificing. State what you need and claim it. Truth be told. Flexible and breathe. Breathe is come back. It's a patience card. Truth be told is about freedom. It's about telling the truth, removing the mask. It's interesting because we do have the moon in Libra this coming weekend. <clears throat> Libra is the energy of wanting to be in relationships, safety within uh, relationships. Um, it could also be that self-sacrificing energy of, you know, I want this relationship to feel good, so I'm not going to be totally honest about how I feel. Mm, I think that you'll find that, that the environment, your environment is a little bit more flexible I feel like there can be more adaptability here. And the energy of this week is really wanting us to stand up for ourselves to tell the truth. There might be some challenges uh, regarding what feels like our deeper sense of self and the way we communicate those things to other people or just the way that we're conditioned to relate to each other sometimes doesn't feel the same as how we feel inside that we want to relate uh, to other people or even to ourselves. I hope that makes sense. 
Ten of Swords underneath in reverse. So coming out of some, again, some destructive thought pattern, this could be somebody finally putting an end to something. Uh, let's keep going. Chariot. Yeah, graduation will power. Someone is really taking their time with um, speaking the truth. If that's resonating for you, someone's really, really taking their time. Um, and almost... <clears throat> Is feeling like they're um, <clears throat> there isn't the right time. It's it's that feeling of I'll I'll do it when the time is right, when everything is perfect. And I think now it com is coming the realization that we have to go with the flow of life because we must, because there's never going to be the perfect time. Yeah, okay, but at least we're starting to see that. At least, okay, there we go. Uh, and the world at the end. Uh, all right, so just to review, I have the chariot, the knight of swords, ace of pentacles, two of swords, nine of swords, Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the world. Uh, by the way, I see Cancer here. That's the, represented in the Chariot. And the World card represents all the fixed signs. Who are all the fixed signs? Aquarius. Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. Yeah, so maybe you're one of those signs or you're dealing with somebody who's one of those signs. Um, I don't really see a second energy in this. I really see this as sort of just you, yourself, and everything within you. Um, somebody is really taking their time um, coming into the light of truth. That was something that I see here. Um, it's almost as if, you're right, like I was saying before, the conditions have not been correct. And there's almost like the inability to make a choice, the two of swords, not being able to see another option, but besides having to do what you must, right? This do what you must, go with the flow of life. I don't know if someone is working up uh, the courage to, I don't, you know, I'm, I see this Knight of Swords here, which is a bit of like really impulsive energy. I feel like that speaks to like this desire to come forward, to break out of these uh, limitations. But I don't see that necessarily as action that's, uh, that's being taken in the present. Mm, I think maybe this is part of the, that inspiration that can come this week when we take a deeper look at ourselves and do that reality check for ourselves of have we been committed to the things we say we want to do for ourselves it's like choosing this is the energy of like I need to choose me I'm choosing me right now nine of swords in the center position Mm -hmm. I mean, this is something that's like been really stressing somebody out. So I don't know exactly what that could be. But I do see in the near future that this like lack of an opportunity for truth turns into um, some sort of inspiration. And it's it's a paradigm shifting um, sort of insight. I think that's really positive in order to look forward to. I don't necessarily see how... Um, <laughs> I'm not necessarily seeing how to get past this um, these this limit on a physical level, but I do see it on an energetic level and also on like a cognitive level. So it's almost like a mind upgrade to say that I know that I'm moving forward even if it doesn't look like it, 
even if there isn't physical evidence and the world doesn't necessarily, my environment doesn't necessarily reflect all of the things that I want, I know that I have all that I need to create that future. And that's powerful. This like, just the ability to accept that kind of insight and know that you're powerful enough to do that for yourself. Okay, I also see somebody needs to let go of some, um, I see. Somebody, there's a message for someone, needs to let go of uh, strong feelings they have about something. This could be actually where your insight is coming from, is where your subconscious, um, the areas where your subconscious wants to reveal something to you are the places in your mind, in your body, where you feel the most amount of tension or the most amount of uh, sort of like emotional upheaval, I'll say. So that could be a place for you to start if you're really unsure about where to uh, begin uh, to look. I'm going to read this um, flexible card. Number 19. It's like this person, this like fairy looking person doing a handstand on an egg. Number 19. Teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising what's important. Mm -hmm. A tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane. Whereas a rigid structure like a building would come crashing down, consider how the tree remains supple and secure when everything around it may be in shambles. This is how you need to be now. Willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, but so is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you too. <clears throat> let's, let's read Truth Be Told. Honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. There is the truth, which is the essence of a thing, and then there is a truth, subjective according to the philosophy of an, of an adherent or a believer. This is not a time for debate about which true is truer. This is a time when you are called to proclaim your truth out loud and be willing to be transparent, honest, and open in your communication with others and yourself. Nothing less than surrender to what is, Peeling off the layers of denial that kept you tied to an illusion will set you free. Be authentic and gloriously flawed, and spirit will answer with miracles. Uh -huh. And I'll read the protection message. I feel like this is a good thing to end on. Where are you being dishonest with yourself or others? You're unhappy in area... Whoa, sorry. If you are unhappy in any area of your life, look for signs of denial. This can also pertain to others being misleading or withholding or acting from hidden agendas. Now is the time to say no to dishonesty in all forms. Ask for the truth, even if you don't like what you hear. Acknowledging it will be key to a beautiful new future where you no longer labor under the heavy burdens that deceit and denial impose on you. Set yourself free. Nothing less than the truth is required now. Okay, that's what I have for you this week. I hope you enjoy the message. Uh, leave me a comment below. Make sure to like the video. It's how the algorithm works. Spread the word. And I hope you have a good week. Take care now.